I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but I feel like it's about to help you out. I just need a couple of minutes of your time. Hey, you ever had so much stuff to do and you ain't end up getting none of it done? You you like fell asleep, you end up taking a nap. <laughs> that ever happened to you? That happened to me the other day, man. I had so much stuff to do. I had my list. I was like, man, I'm about to get all this done. I'm about to get all of, all of a sudden. And I woke up. You know, you know how it is when you wake up from a nap. You're like, man, where am I? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where am I? Who did it and why? And you're like, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I fell asleep. But watch this. When I woke up from that nap, I felt so refreshed. <laughs> hey, you know how it be when you hey when you wake up from a nap, you feel recharged, you feel refreshed. And guess what? I was able to get more done in the next 30 minutes after that nap than when I than, than what I have got done in two hours if I wouldn't have took a nap. But see, I didn't know that. I had to make a mistake and fall asleep in order to realize that. And here's what I want you to understand. You see, sometimes in life, we just go, 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 go. And see, we never take the time to just rest. You got me? You have to be able to take the time to rest. There's a reason why in any basketball game or football game, the coach is allowed to take timeouts. Because, see, the coach needs time for his players to come together and strategize and say, hey, listen, we're going to switch it up. We're going to go. We're going to go this way. We're going to do this differently. You got me? And spiritually, what I want you to understand is many of us, y'all, we going, 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 but we never accepting the rest that Jesus offers her, or offers us. He says, come to me, all ye who are heavy and burdened down, and I will give you rest. What does rest mean? Rest means freedom from your stress, struggle, and strain. He says, my burden is light. So Jesus wants to give you rest, but you got to be willing to accept it. And he allows you to take that break in the midst of what's going on. You understand? It is possible to still be walking, still be getting things done every day. But, oh, you got peace right here. Oh, you got rest in the midst of it. Peace is not the absence of a storm. No, peace is the presence of God in that situation with you. Because peace is not something, it's someone. So maybe you just been go, go, go lately and you feel burned down and you say, man, I'm stressed out. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Invite Jesus in on the situation. <laughs> Invite him in on the situation. Because where he is, there, wherever he is, there's peace. Remember in the scripture when Jesus was asleep on the boat and they woke him up and telling him it was a storm and Jesus, he, Jesus wasn't panicking. He was asleep on the boat because all he has to do is speak one word to that situation and say, peace, be still. And everything changes. He spoke the word and created everything literally. So understand that when you take him at his word and you invite him in on your situation and you say, Lord, I'm going through this, this, this and this. Lord, I, I, I pray for your peace and your rest in the midst of this. Please comfort me, lead, guard and guide me. The Lord say, yeah, I got you. I got you. The scriptures say your burden is light when you walk with him. In other words, God come into your life and he say, hey, Demarcus, see how you've been holding on to the steering wheel, trying to do that, trying to do that. Do me a favor. I need you. I need you in the back seat. And you know, you know what? We like back seat. I'm used to being in control. You feel me? I know how to. I, I, I need to go left, right, left, right. But you need to yield that to him. Give him his permission. He knows how to drive that thing better than you. Who are you? How old you is? 22, 32, 52, 62? It don't matter if you're 92. That still ain't longer than God been doing this thing here on earth. He been doing it for a long time. So your little amount of years that you think, oh, I know what I'm doing or whatever. If you don't get in that back seat and get out the way and let God do what he does, boy. Give him his office space so he can do his office work. God knows what he's doing. He may be doing 3,000 things at one time. You may only be aware of one. Trust that God knows best. So I challenge you to accept his rest and accept your new position. So your new position is getting in the back seat. Because see, you're a follower of Christ. To follow means to get behind. It means to trust the person in front of you. 
Accept this rest today. All right. As a matter of fact, when you're in the backseat, see, I'm in the backseat too. We all in here together. You feel me? I got to trust them just like you. And we're going to be all right because our driver is built for it. Accept this rest today and enjoy your day. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, Oh, I forgot to talk about this in my video. I knew something was off, man. Hey, watch this. Hey, check it out, man. The other night I had a little baby mosquito in my room. It was, you, you know how it is. Them little small, you can't get them. <laughs> he tried to clap. You don't know if you got it or not. It's so small. You, you, you don't even, you can't see it. I was sitting there clapping for about four or five minutes. Then I went and got this bad boy right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wisdom. Wisdom. And I and see, look, this would listen. If if you ever need to get a mosquito, please hear my advice. You turn all the lights on and you just sit back and you stare at one spot. Don't be like this because you ain't gonna find them. Stare at one spot and you'll see them out your peripheral. Uh, if you just stay laser focused, you because that's constant. And anything that's not constant, you see it right here. You'll be able to say, there he is. Mm. Boy, I got that little that, that little joker, man. If you think you're too small to make a difference, try locking yourself in a room with a baby mosquito. That thing will tear you up. You ain't too little to make a difference. <laughs> Especially when you're walking with God. But get you one of these, though, man. For real. That make your job a lot easier. Especially at 2 a.m. Them little mosquitoes don't play. I got about four or five on my on, 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 right by my calf muscle. I don't know why he went after my calf, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit the like button. Then I need you to comment the words, I accept God's rest. Because that's right. <laughs> you're walking with God, and you're also enjoying his rest. You'll be able to smile in the midst of your situation and encourage others and tell them about the rest that you receive. That's right. You better tell everybody about it. They say, man, in the midst of this environment, all this going on, but you still got peace. You still got rest. Please tell me how. Tell me what's going on. And you better tell them, man, it's the presence of God. And they say, you know what? I think I'm going to follow God too. That's how it works, man. See, cause the Bible said we are the hands and the feet of, of Christ. So God is using you to go out there into a hurting world, right? And demonstrate his light, his life and his love and be a mirror, a reflection that points towards him and give him all the glory. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.